so I stopped vlogging yesterday. We ended up going to Walmart and I forgot my camera, so it just dropped off, but I'll continue today. We are, I've been up cleaning all morning. It's 10 o'clock, been up since seven, I think, cleaning. Um, but right now Maddie's up. We're gonna do a mango smoothie. Yeah. So here is my Ninja Blender and Maddie, what's in it? Mangoes, um. Um, some orange juice. <laughs> We oranges. have some yogurt. Oranges, and then we have ice. No oranges, just orange juice. Ice, almond milk, a little bit of honey, and that's it. So we're going to give this a try. What do you think? Think it's going to taste good? Yeah. And and guys, I got this beautiful slime, and, and nobody, well, I made it. Sorry, I have the hiccups. And um, I, I didn't make, like, the pink stuff, but I did put all the glitter in and like everything so like there's lots of glitter and I put um two unicorns in and th and then I put like beads and hearts and all that cool stuff uh oh you're dropping some so I've been steam mopping the floors um laundry going I cleaned that bathroom thoroughly um today is going to be all about catching up on the laundry and getting the homeschooling done oh sorry and um and cooking so i thought i would bring you guys along here's the mango smoothie it's very very delicious and we have big straws i need to get some smaller yeah and i have a big straw <laughs> do you like it mm -hmm. it's very yummy guys feel the fun feel it Let's see. Ew. It feels really cool. Slime is not my friend when it gets into my rugs. Mom, but I'm keeping it in the kitchen. Okay, we'll put the lid on. Okay. All right, I think before I get dressed and ready for the day and start homeschooling, I think we're gonna make some baked oatmeal. Um, just for breakfast and for like brunchy or snacky um, food for today. So I found this recipe. It's a blueberry baked oatmeal. I usually put bananas in it, but I don't have bananas. So we're gonna do this. Let me show you. Savorynothings.com. And it's gonna look like that maybe, we'll see. And I'm just getting all the ingredients together. Oats, milk, applesauce, walnuts. I don't think I have walnuts. I might add some pecans. Um, eggs, maple syrup, vanilla, cinnamon, baking powder, salt, and blueberries. So I'm going to get all of those out. All right, I've got my ingredients here. Now to start mixing in this amazing mixing bowl that I picked up at my thrift store. I love it. It's nice and big. It has this really awesome handle. Pouring spout, and it's got the grippy thing on the bottom. Also using my little, um... This is glass bake. I found all of this at the thrift store. I love this stuff, you guys. It's like so classic. And I'm starting to have a thing for like antique dishware. <laughs> so anyway, all right, let's get to mixing.
All right, you guys, now we're gonna do a Pullman loaf in the um, homemade bread in the Pullman loaf pan. So this is one and a half cups of warm milk, about 110 degrees. I'm gonna add three tablespoons or a little more of butter. It's probably like five tablespoons of butter, but I'm adding that. Um, we're gonna do some fast rise yeast. We're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of yeast. And then we're gonna add some honey Two tablespoons. I'm using this um, raw honey with the comb. Picked this up at Walmart. All right, so here is what we've got now. We're gonna add some salt. I'm using Himalayan pink salt. We're gonna do one and a half teaspoons. Uh, that's my salt right there. This recipe calls for three tablespoons of dry milk powder. I don't have that today, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Then I'm gonna add three cups of bread flour. This is the King Arthur bread flour. I think the dough is done. So now I'm gonna put it in my greased bowl over here and we're gonna let it rise. I usually plop it in and then I'll just turn it, kind of give it a coat of the oil. And then we can cover it up with some plastic wrap or like a um, damp cloth and then we're gonna let it rise. All right, for those of you who don't know, this is the Pullman loaf pan. Alexa, stop timer. Stop timer. Okay, and it makes a glorious um, loaf, loaf bread, like really nice square shape that you get like at the grocery store. So I'd love to get a second one, but for right now, that's what I have. And then I've got my dough here and we'll give it like half an hour and check it and see how it's doing. And then the oak, meal timer just went off I think it's probably done so I'm gonna take that out it's looking good this little guy's just waking up say good morning good morning good morning little guy guys you slept late guys I'm done can I show them mm -hmm. So guys, okay, I'll give you it. I'll give you it. So guys, this is my um house that I built. Right here, I have a baby crib, and out this is outside. Right here, I have a play place where like you can go and hang out. Right here, I have like a bouncy ball. Right here, we have two walls, and right there, we have like a thing. Like a, where you can jump off and then land right here. And then you go inside. Oh yeah, right here is my slime that I'm using for them. Right here is the baby. That That's the crib that they're sleeping in. Right here I have a chair with that and magazines. Right here I have the play area for the baby. Right here is a bib and Legos and stuff. And plants, and then right here I have a back door, and over here is where they're eating and stuff. I built a table, and I have all the people. Nice and and the this is the cutest yeah. little dog. Oh, 
And then right here, right here we have um, the sink. And then right here we have the stove. So that's the end of it. So here, we go. here you go. Y'all, this is exceptionally delicious. It's good. Mason left his blueberries. Can I take the blueberries? Yes, Maddie can eat the blueberries. Don't. Like don't. Um, so this is our little homeschool rolly cart. I'm going to show you guys more in depth here in a minute, but that's kind of how we're keeping our homeschool together. And so I'm going to get everyone situated, and then we'll see you in just a little bit, right? Right? All right, so here is our bread. It's about double in size, so I'm going to go ahead and roll it out to kind of fit this pan. And then, um, turn that light off. And then we're going to let it rise again. So I just clean the counter off. I basically just roll it out and then I kind of tuck it the ends and then tuck it in underneath and then we'll put it in the pan. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you. So this is one of the little Ikea carts. I'm sure you've seen this before. So um, we're using this and keeping it in the kitchen as like our very convenient homeschool cart. Um, so the middle shelf has crayons, pencils, and my homeschool planner. And then down here are just things that we use occasionally but not every single day. Mason has his action Bible. We have our hymnal. And then I have the what your fourth grader and what your first grader need to know. And then Maddie's handwriting binder, if you can see that, is down there. And then up here, uh, Mason, you have yours missing, it looks like. But um, the Eggermeyer's Story Bible, our read aloud currently, a um, couple little things that we do on occasion. This is uh, the Usborn Outdoor Book the drawing for with children book and then um, Maddie has her math lessons for a living education which is our master books that we're really liking she's still doing language arts through um, the good and the beautiful and then these are just some extra like um, things that I add in to supplement and then this is also a first grade work uh, book that she does to supplement she has her Good and Beautiful Reader here. Um, and then these are just some extra, like readers, coloring books, um, the Dover coloring books I really like. Um, we're also doing the Elementary Geography and Cultures right now through Master Books. That goes with this book and also an atlas. And then um, weather forecasting for kids we use sometimes and then heaven and earth for our science we're doing that together through master books don't don't we um show them that? yes i did and then mason has his stuff but uh, language arts, math, like math. he has language arts and math through master books handwriting it was, like, it was like this but it's a fox yeah handwriting is through the good and the beautiful <clears throat> um so the bulk of what we're using right now is Master Books and The Good and the Beautiful, and I really love it. So we're going to get started. We're going to have a seat here at this table. Um, this thing, you know, I know where my handwriting is. It's behind the chair. It's right there. All right, let's get started. All right, before we get started with school, I'm going to pop the bread in. Um... Got a little mishap here at the end, but that's okay. I'm gonna pop the bread in and bake it with the lid on, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. And here, this is what this It's right there, the capital of Bangladesh, Dhaka. Dhaka. So we just read all about Bangladesh in our um, what is this called around? Uh, Passport to the World book, and Mason's gonna fill out the. Um, worksheet that goes with it because that's more score. his grade level so he's going to fill those out mm -hmm. and then after we're through with mm -hmm. that lesson um yeah. what Where's the it's under your bed in one of those bins uh, top uh, shelf uh, so we did science already we learned about air and air how much air weighs um, we just did our social studies there, and then Maddie is getting ready to start her math. This math 
is a little easy. Um, I don't really mind it that much though because I feel like um, it's kind of just, you know, making sure that everything is really solid with them is better than really pushing um, ahead of grade level. So she's getting that done. We started this recently, so we're doubling up on lessons because they are easy. And number two, because we started halfway through the year. So I th I'm going to check Mason's math. I think he said he did that already. So I'm going to look at it. Yes, we have a whole box of crayons. And I'm also going to look at his language art. So he's going to color, and then Maddie's going to work on her math. All right, here's our bread. Just took it out. Looks pretty good. I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes in here, then we'll put it onto a, um, a cooling rack. And we'll let it cool a little longer there. The way you know if your bread is done is you'll tap it once I take it out you, you or you can do it on the bottom of the pan. Just kind of tap it and it sounds hollow, um, which this one does and I can also kind of eyeball it and just know when it's finished. But um, do you see how lovely and you guys will see when I take it out, it looks so great. Alrighty, here she is. You can see how the bread makes. Uh, or the pan, I mean, makes this really awesome loaf bread. And as it cools, it softens up and just gets really, really nice. So yum, and the house smells so good. All right, here's lunch for today. Pretty simple. We're doing just little mini pizzas um, on crackers, applesauce with carrots and ranch. And then we'll have some bottled water. And that is lunch. Just put the baby down for a nap. And he, we're struggling with his nap time. He does not want to stay in his crib. And he is pretty um, clever about getting out. And then I put him back in, be very firm with him. Um, so, anyway, um, the kids just cleared the table. Um, we had to go through quite a bit to get them to uh, clean the floor. <laughs> So there was a little bit of discipline there, um, but we're going to move on. I've got several loads of laundry that are going to get folded today. I'm going to move those into the uh, living room and just start piling it up because if it's in there, I have to deal with it. I can't hide from it. So I'm going to pile it all up in there, switch it out. We're going to eat some lunch and then we'll do our read alouds, um, Bible devotion, and then Maddie's language arts. I think... We'll be getting close to being done. So, not much longer. Okay, so at this point, homeschool's done. The baby is not napping, so he keeps getting out of his crib. I am going to slice him some bread for a sandwich. I've got this chicken that I've been thawing today that I think I'm going to cook for dinner. Um, you just had some applesauce, right? Hmm? Your B? Yeah. You lost it? B. You B. found it? Yeah, there it is. There's your B. This is his B. <laughs> and your passy. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I've got to straighten up from our homeschool day here. That's the next load of laundry. It's all piled in there. Um, but first, I'm going to un finish unloading this, reload from all the dishes from the day, make Solomon some late lunch since he didn't really eat, um, and then um, Mason and Maddie have lots of friends in this neighborhood that they play with on a daily basis, and so they have run out to play.
here we go. We've got our sliced sandwich bread. I've got little sandwich bags. I'm gonna divide these half and half and we'll put those in there. And we're gonna make you a ham and cheese, right? I be. And Jake's home from school. I'm sure he's gonna find himself something to eat as well. Do you want ham and cheese? Let's go. Oh, there is cheese in Okay, let's eat. Hey y'all, this is my bed head. Um, I am ready for bed now. <laughs> and I kind of uh, took a little break from vlogging because I was working on laundry and that's my steam mop going. I had a conference call for work. So I was on that forever. And then we quickly had dinner, which was baked potatoes. It was like a weird mix of baked potatoes and um, chicken tacos. Oh my. So the baby was jumping in all of my clean clothes. So that means I have to get it up immediately. Maddie, can you please make sure he doesn't do that again? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, kids just had a bath. I have to get solid and dressed. Um, I was going to steam mop this kitchen, but you know what? With the slaughter situation in there and the possibility that Solomon is going to destroy it. I think I need to get him dressed and work on that. Um, it's been a very busy day, but I feel like it's been productive. I've got my kitchen sort of kind of a little cleaned. Um, Jimmy fixed Cora's crate tonight, which was on the bucket list of things to do. Hallelujah. That's done. Um, I still need to put the cleaners away. I had gotten another bread machine at the thrift store for $9 that I need to find a home for. Dog treats need to go away somewhere. Um, the bread turned out so lovely. I think I showed you guys and it was absolutely delicious. Frozen 2. Frozen 2. And then we are going to go to bed, right? Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. So I'm going to tackle the rest of this laundry. I'm going to edit this vlog, get it uploaded for you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I would show you, Sally, but you don't have any clothes on. Yeah, because she just took a bath. <laughs> okay, say bye. Bye.